Fifty renewable energy producers submitted bids for the second round of the government's independent power producers program. Of these, ten solar, seven wind and two hydropower projects have received the green light. South Africa's daily energy output is 40,000 megawatts. The initiative, intended to supply 3,200 megawatts of potential capacity, could represent a good portion of the 100 billion rand investment the state is aiming to attract. Independent Power Producer Procurement Programme for Renewable Energy gives us an opportunity to attract foreign direct investment into South Africa, um, to bring technologies here yeah, that's been rolled out across Europe and, and, and the US and other parts of the world for several years and actually leverage the, the knowledge that's been built up and the expertise that's been built up um, to enhance our own, our own grid and our own ability to generate energy. Power producers have welcomed the initiative, but some analysts say it has been too long coming, adding that the program is a result of bad planning with no new power plants being constructed in South Africa for over a decade. I think it's, uh, it's been a number of years of bad planning, um, that there was no new capacity that came online for a period of more than a decade. So, in, a, in essence, ESCOM is playing catch-up in terms of their capacity additions. On the flip side, government does have high expectations that the program will help some way towards job creation and skills development in South Africa. During the construction phase, we'll obviously see a spike in, uh, in temporary jobs because you need um, civil engineering works done, um, you need the actual construction of the turbines or, or the solar farms. So based on the total capacity made available under the procurement program, we're looking at, out of this first round, r roughly about 5,000, three and a half to 5,000 sustainable jobs um, coming out of this first round of procurement. The government's procurement program aims not only to stimulate the renewable energy sector, but to empower local communities as well. The program is very much designed around um, enhancing South African ca ca capacity to develop skills and the technologies in the renewable sector. The program requires each project to have 40% South African ownership and, and a component of that, uh, a minimum of 2.5%, the norm we've seen is closer to 5%, being owned by the communities closest to the actual uh, power plant itself and between 12 and 20 percent owned by uh, BEE or broad-based BEE vehicles. South Africa has lagged in its development of renewable energy, especially given the urgent power needs of the economy and the country's abundance in the required natural resources. But hopes are high that this initiative will help remedy the sector to some extent.